Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin Cohen, and today I'm going to be guiding you through a slow flow practice that is suitable for beginners and quite frankly all levels. Throughout the next 60 minutes I will guide you through a lot more anatomical cueing and longer holds. So that's why whether you're a beginner and you need a little more direction and instruction or you have more of an intermediate or advanced practice, you will benefit from the class. So if you'd like to join me, we'll begin today. Just take a seat at the center of your mat. Find Sukhasana, easy seated pose, let your ankles cross and your knees drop. If this is uncomfortable, grab for your prop of choice. I'm using a yoga block and just slide that underneath the sitting bones. Bring the backs of your hands to take rest on the knees and draw the index fingers and thumbs to lightly touch. As you extend out through the middle, ring and pinky fingers. In yoga, we call this Yanana Mudra. And the seal with the fingers, it will help support your flow of energy. It will help to support the connection to higher power. So lift up through the heart and begin to lengthen through your spine, grow nice and tall. Let's take a big breath in and let all your breath out. Nice job. Two more times. Breathe into your belly. Open mouth. Let it go. And then one more just like that. Breathe in. Open mouth. Sigh this one out. And collecting your hands at your heart. Take a deep breath in. And find your ujjayi breath out through your nose. The ujjayi breath, there's a gentle constriction that you place in the back line of your throat. This breath work is often compared to an ocean-like wave or sound. It's as if you were creating this <sighs> H-A ha sound with a closure of the mouth. So it sounds a little something like this. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And though the sound is subtle, it doesn't have to be incredibly loud, it will help to anchor your mind in the present moment experience. Continue to breathe in this way as you bow your chin to your chest. I invite you to acknowledge a sankalpa or an intention, the reason for being here and dedicating an hour to self-care, to self-love. There's absolutely no rush in getting there, but once you land on your intention, begin to infuse it with your breath. So that when you breathe in, you are soaking it into your skin and your bones and your muscles, your cells and your tissues. And when you breathe out, you are sharing this gift, this dedication and sending it outward into the universe. And with that, you have tailored this practice to your specific wants, your needs. Take a deep breath in and let all your breath out. Nice job. Let's roll forward to a tabletop. If you're on height, remove it. With tabletop, you're on all fours. Your shoulders are just over the wrists and your hips are just over the knees. Inhale, cow stretch. Lift through your head and your chest and your tailbone. Exhale, cat pose. Round through your spine and tuck your chin to your chest. Just to warm up through the spine, let's cycle through that a few more times. Inhale, cow. From the low belly to the base of the chin, you open. And exhale to cat. From the tailbone to the brain stem, you stretch. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, front body opens, just nice and slow. Exhale, back body high. When you come back to a neutral table, press back to child pose. Big toes together, knees nice and wide, and sink your hips back. Let's walk the hands and arms over to the right side of your space. Just take a few rounds of breath into your left ribs, your left shoulder. 
Without the extra effort of a clenched jaw or furrowed eyebrow, just distribute your awareness to the entire length of your body. Let's take one more breath in. Exhale, pass through center, walk the hands and arms over to the left. Press into the base of your right palm, relax your head. And breathe into the right side of your waist, your right ribs, all the way up into your right shoulder. Stay right here for your inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, tabletop, return to all fours. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. You elevate your hips and lengthen out your legs. Simultaneously, press into your hands to lengthen your arms. Let your neck go nice and long as you slide your shoulders down your back. And gently begin to press your chest back towards your knees and your thighs. If you find it helpful for awakening your ankles, take a few pedals into the heels. Lift up through one heel and then the other. And then ultimately find stillness. Equally distribute the weight between both hands and both feet. And just breathing into the middle, breathing into your belly. as you maintain the constriction in your throat. And if you find today that postures run their course, sooner than I cue to exit them, Know that you can always take a tabletop, return to all fours. You can always take rest in a child pose and sink your hips back. Know that I am here to guide you and offer suggestions however you know what you are feeling in your body. And I highly encourage you to take care of yourself, moment to moment, breath to breath. Your next inhale, lift your tailbone high and look forward. Exhale, travel where you're looking. You walk or quietly hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, press your hands into your thighs or your shin skin. Exhale, forward fold. And two more times, inhale, halfway lift, nice and slow. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Feel your legs straight and arms long. Exhale, forward fold. Now bend at your knees, let your belly and ribs touch your thighs. Choose to stay right here or interlace your fingers at your low back. If that goes over well, bring the base of your palms together and start to straighten your arms, roll your knuckles forward. But if that harms your breath, you begin to breathe into the chest Right, soften it so that you can maintain a breath in your belly and the constriction in your throat. And just notice if your head can go heavier or if your neck can go smoother. Gently lower the hands to the low back and trace your fingertips towards the floor. Bend into your right knee, plant your right hand either on your mat or on a block. Inhale, left arm sweeps high, open arm twist. Exhale, release your left hand back down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, left arm high, feel that your right knee is still bent. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, left arm, left fingers high. Exhale, forward fold. Now straighten out both legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now bend deeply into the left knee, land your left hand. Inhale, right arm high. Look up to the right fingers. Exhale, release your right hand down. Keeping your left knee bent, inhale, right arm high. Exhale, right hand down. Once more, inhale, right fingertips to the sky. 
Exhale, forward fold and straighten both legs. Move your block if you used it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now we move on to our sun salutation A. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Reach your arms out, all the way up overhead. With your exhale, pull thumbs to the chest. Close the eyes. Feel that your chin is parallel to the ground and you feel stable on both feet. Stand tall, feel stable, big breath in. And long breath out. Big breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward reach. Look up if that feels good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine, shoulders back. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms. Step your feet back to the top of your mat. Press through your hands, lengthen your legs, lengthen through your arms. But if you find this to be harming to the breath, I invite you to drop down to your knees. Just be sure that your knees are behind your hips. Then lift through the navel, let your front body shorten. And I'll count you down for five. Press into your index fingers and thumbs for four, three, two. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, pass through Chaturanga. Squeeze your elbows into your side bodies, lower all the way down to your yoga mat. Tops of your feet press into the floor. Inhale to Sphinx Pose. Slide your elbows right under the shoulders. Press into the tops of your feet and your pelvis. Root down to the inner wrists to lift your chest, neck, and then finally your gaze. Without crunching into the back of the neck, keep it smooth. And then begin to roll your shoulders back, stretch open to the chest and collarbones. And just take a few rounds of breath into your low belly, into your rib cage, without forgetting to constrict your throat. And take a breath in, lift to the crown of your head. With your exhale, drop your left ear any amount towards the left shoulder. So rolling both shoulders back and begin to squeeze the shoulder blades in. Inhale, lift your head up through center. Exhale, drop the right ear over to the right shoulder. Again, both shoulders, they wrap back and the chest send forward. Just notice the jaw and the pressure in your feet. Inhale, lift your head through center. And exhale, splay the elbows, drag your hands back so they frame your rib cage. Keep the pressure into the tops of the feet, hug your elbows in, inhale, cobra pose. Press into the hands, keep the elbows bent and hugged into your body. Notice, you keep pressing into the tops of the feet, to roll your shoulders back and lift through the crown of your head. And the hold is not quite as long. We have a count of three. Breathe a little bit deeper and wider. Two. Take one more breath in. Nice job. Exhale, lower down. Stretch your arms back like airplane wings. Inhale, locust pose. Lift your arms, your legs, and your chest. If there's fragility in your low back, please keep your legs down and just focus on the hands, arms, and torso. As you lift up, lengthen your limbs and lengthen the back of your neck so the gaze is slightly downward. And take one more breath in, lift wherever you can. Exhale to release, bend your elbows, plant your hands outside of your ribs. Tuck your toes under, draw your navel towards your spine. Inhale, table or high plank. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck the toes and slowly lift your hips. Just feel that you're breathing, smooth and slow. Deep into the belly and broad into your low back. Take one more round of breath. Inhale, look forward to fingers. Exhale, walk or hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine, long neck. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your calves and deepen. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute, arms out and then up. Exhale, hands to your heart, grab your attention and find your breath. As you reestablish your breathing, feel rooted into your feet. Moving on to our sun salutation B. Inhale, chair pose. Slowly sink your hips and lift through your arms. If there's fragility or sensitivity in the shoulders, do a big goal pose or modify and take hands to hips or hands to waist as alternatives. Lifting up through the center of the chest and everyone lengthen through the low back. Heaviness on the tailbone, but all of this strength and lift in the navel. Let's take one more big breath in. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Hands together, bring your right elbow towards your left thigh or your left knee. You might use your left hand at the outer left thigh to deepen that rotation. Look at your right knee. If it bows forward, draw your right knee back and then send a little more weight into the heels. Continue to breathe and begin to press your left palm into your right. Notice if you can roll the left shoulder back and left ribs back. Inhale, chair pose, slowly you lift the upper body. Exhale, forward fold, and you slowly release down. Inhale, halfway lift, calm with the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Butt low, heart lifts high. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hands together, hook your left elbow. And check in, did the left knee jut forward and can you drag it back? You might press your right hand into the outer right thigh and deepen the twist. Continue to press your hands into one another. Just check in, can you roll the right shoulder back? Can you roll your right ribs back? Just allow a little bit of heat to build. A little more weight back into your heels. Inhale, chair pose, move slow and steady. Exhale, forward fold, lengthen your limbs and dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Reach out and up, palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Stand at attention and close your eyes. I choose to pay attention to the way in which you are breathing. Release your arms long at your sides, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Transfer the weight into your right foot. Inhale, one leg mountain pose. Parallel your left thigh to the ground. With that initial lift, draw the navel up. Lift up through your heart and then all the way up through the crown of your head. So you feel a little bit lighter. Simultaneously lengthen your arms and 10 fingers down towards the ground. Arms are straight and strong without strain without harming your breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, big step back, 
left foot to the back of your mat and keep the right foot forward. Setting up for warrior one, take your hands to your hips, toe heel your right foot over to the right side of your mat. Draw the right hip back and send your left hip forward. And once you feel with your fingers that hip points are square, then begin to lift the arms up overhead. And to your biceps, they frame your ears, the fingers lift up, but the chin is parallel to the earth. You feel long on your side bodies, lifted on your ribs. There's a wonderful sink and depth into your hips. Steady the gaze and just watch your breath. Take one more inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Now from one to two, your right heel is in line with left arch. Take the time. Look down the midline, stack your shoulders over your hips. Then stretch the arms in big capital T. Look forward over the back of your right hand. Bend deeply into right knee and press your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Without leaning forward, maintain the stack of shoulders over hips. And begin to lift through your heart. Lift up through your ribs, but keep that sink and depth in your hips. Now flip your right palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stretch forward, upward, and backward. So nice side body stretch. Slide your left hand light as a feather down the left seam of your leg. Roll the right shoulder back and look up. That doesn't feel right though. Rather look down towards your left big toe. And you just want to feel space from the right hip crease through your reaching right fingers. Three. Maintain a calm, smooth breath. Two. Breathe in, that's one. Exhale, extended side angle. Lots of options. Right forearm to right thigh. Right hand at your instep on a block, or right hand on the pinky toe side on a block. Then lengthen your left arm forward, parallel to the ground, draw the left shoulder back, really plug it in, and then slice the left bicep over your left ear. You can look down at your right big toe. To challenge the balance, look towards the center of your left hand. And then together, press the hips forward, roll the left shoulder back. You just practice a calm breath for the challenge of the pose. For the hold of the pose. Three. Breathe, please. Two. And one. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten through the right leg. Toe heel your left foot forward so it is a shorter stance. And then reach the right arm up, back, and over once again. So you slide your left hand lightly down the outer seam of your left leg line. Feel the length from the top of your right foot through your reaching right fingers. Take a breath into the belly. Exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose. Reach the right arm forward. Feel your right hip dip. So you can even dig right fingers into the right hip crease to drop the right hip way low. Continue to reach, reach, reach out through your right arm. So the left oblique turns on right hand low, either on your shin or light on a block, to then guide your left arm nice and high. So gaze is intentional, look down to ground, or look up to challenge your balance. If the habit is to lock or hyperextend on your knees, do a little micro bend, tiny change to support your joints. And then together we offer the heart towards the sky, rolling the left shoulder back. Breathe deep for three. And just check in, can your right hand get a little bit lighter? For two and one. Inhale, star pose, big lift. So like a capital X with your limbs. At the center, lift your heart, lift your eyes. Stretch through the fingers and really kick into the outer edges of your heels. Take one more breath in to lengthen. Exhale, goddess pose. Take your hands to your hips. Angle your toes out and then sink your hips nice and low. From there, do a big goal post on the arms and flip your palms up as if you're holding serving trays. Lengthen through the tail, really zipper up through the low abdomen and then find the appropriate depth in your hips. Sensation, a little bit of discomfort, but nothing is painful. 
Rat the shoulders back for three, two, and one. Inhale, star pose, get long and lifted. Exhale, prasarita padottanasana. Hands to the hips, angle toes forward, and then slowly begin to hinge. You lower with a flat spine, and then release your hands all the way down to your mat. Notice the toes are forward or slightly inward, and you plant your hands in the same line as your feet. Begin to bend your elbows and encourage the crown of the head down towards the ground. You might choose to cleanse your exhale. You might choose to sigh the exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your hands to the mat to lengthen your spine. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your right knee and walk your hands forward. Inhale, lift your heart and look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot next to your right and release the weight of your head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach high, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Just close the eyes and gather your attention on present moment. Just pause to feel into the effects of your practice thus far. Subtle changes or grand changes from one side to the next. Let's return to the balance. Transfer the weight into your left foot. Inhale, one leg mountain pose. Parallel your right thigh to the ground. And do make sure that you switch sides. Lengthen your arms at your side bodies. Palms present forward. And then wrap the shoulders back to get longer and stronger on the arms. Engage the inner body as you lift your navel, your ribs, and your heart. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale, step your right foot all the way back. Now take the hands to the hips just so they have placement. Toe heel your left foot a little wider. Firm into your right heel, your right toes, top right corner of your mat, setting up for warrior one. Once you feel the square quality on the hips, you might touch hip points with fingers, square to the front. Inhale, warrior one or Vira Vajrasana one. Shoulders draw down, arms lengthen up. Hips sink down, but the navel and the ribs rise. Now steady the gaze and hold safe, steady space for yourself. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Now from one to two, recall your left heel or front heel is in line with the back arch. Look down towards the ground. Your shoulders are over your hips. Then slice the arms forward and backward like airplane wings. Your right arm is in line with your left and your gaze is forward. Roll the shoulders down, lift your chest, and then lift through the navel as you sink into your hips. Let's take three rounds of breath. One more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Flip the left hand, reach forward, upward, and backward. Slide your right hand on the outer seam of your right leg. Or maybe you wrap the right forearm around your low back. Soft through the left shoulder and long on your left arm. Take a big breath into your left ribs. Exhale, extended side angle. Remember options, left forearm, left thigh. Left hand on a block at your instep. Or take that block to the pinky toe side. Lengthen your right arm forward and draw the right shoulder back in its socket. Slice your right arm over the right side of your head. 
You have this wonderful line of energy as you press into the right heel and reach the right fingers. In the middle, press your hips forward and roll the right shoulder back. Narrow the gaze on something that isn't moving and take three rounds of breath. One more. Then with patience, inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten through the left leg, lift your torso. There's a shorter stance, toe heel your right foot forward a few times. And then sweep the left arm up, back, and over. You find that slide with the right palm, the lean back through the torso. Take a big breath into your left ribs. Exhale, triangle pose. Use your left fingers and left hip crease. Dip the left hip down and lift your right hip up. And continue to reach the left arm forward until you can't reach anymore. Left hand down to the shin or on a block. Then guide the right arm high, right wrist above your right shoulder. As you press your hips forward, start to roll the right shoulder back. Narrow the gaze. And just take four rounds of breath in Trikonasana, triangle pose. For these last two, can your left hand get a little bit lighter? Nice job. Inhale, star pose. Lift up, lengthen arms and legs, spread open through the fingers. With your exhale back bend, goal post the arms, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart, lift your eyes. Two more times, inhale, star pose, just nice and slow. Exhale, back bend. Once more, breathe in, star pose. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, star, look to your horizon. Exhale, bend your right knee for a lateral lunge. As you sink into the right hip and right heel, flex your left foot and dig your left heel into the mat. As you sink into your hips, you can use your hands as additional support. Inhale, lift up through center, both knees bent. Exhale, lateral lunge over to the left. And dig your right heel into the mat, flex your right toes up towards the sky, and lift up through your chest. With a bigger lift, inhale, star pose, you rise up. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold. Toes forward and release your hands down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, enjoy some length. Exhale, low lunge, bend your left knee, square your hips, square your chest. Inhale, lift your chest and gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, right foot next to your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And with soft knees, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, rise up, nice and slow. Exhale, hands to your heart. Just close your eyes and follow the quality of your breath. Now we'll link all of that together in one fluid sequence. Take your time, there's no stress, there's no worries. You go at the rhythm of your breath. Let's cleanse the exhale to establish community. Take a big breath in. Open mouth release. Release the arms long at your sides. Inhale, one leg mountain pose. Parallel your left thigh to the ground. Exhale, warrior one. Step your left foot back and lift the arms up. Hold right here for the inhale. Arms lengthen, navel back. Exhale, warrior two. Arms press, gaze forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. 
reach the right arm up, back and over. Exhale, extended side angle. Slice your left arm over the left side of your skull. Inhale, reverse triangle, right leg straight, right arm back. Exhale, triangle pose with a calm breath, right arm low, left arm high. Inhale, star pose, get big and expand. Exhale, wide leg fold, hands to the hips, then release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, bend your right knee and square your hips. Inhale, lift your chest and gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, left foot next to your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to the heart, and release your arms long at your sides. Inhale, one leg mountain pose, right thigh parallel. Exhale, warrior one, big step, arms sweep up. Hold for the inhale, feel into your footing. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, lengthen your left side as you lean back. Exhale, extended side angle. Slice your right arm long and strong. Inhale, reverse triangle, left leg straight, left arm up. Exhale, triangle pose, dip the left hip, reach your right arm high. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, back bend. Just enough to feel, no pain. Two more, inhale, star pose. Exhale, back bend, nice and gentle. Inhale, star. Exhale, back bend, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge. Bend your right knee and dig your left heel into the ground. Inhale, lift your hips, keep your knees bent. Exhale, lateral lunge to the left. Dig your right heel. Big lift, inhale, star pose, expand. Exhale, wide leg, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, feel a calm breath. Exhale, low lunge, bend your left knee and square your hips. Inhale, lift your chest and look outward. Exhale, forward fold, step right foot next to left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Just close the eyes and allow your breath to become so steady. Right here, right now, nothing is more important than the breath. Prioritize a smooth inhale and a complete exhale. With this heightened awareness of your body and your breath, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, lengthen and lift up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, tabletop. Come back to the hands and return to the knees. Now we're going to set up for Virasana, hero's pose. So keep your blocks handy just in case. Bring the inner knees together and take your feet nice and wide. You may slide the calf muscles to the right and left and slowly, so slow, begin to lower your hips to that space between your feet. And if you find your knees are saying absolutely not, take a block or two or three, prop up your sitting bones. 
roll the shoulders back. It is about a 60 second hold. And I do not share that with you to instill fear, but rather so you feel supported. So those of you that do not have blocks, modify all together and just take a seat on the heels. Right? A different variation, but just honoring your body, honoring where you are today. Let your chin be parallel to the ground. Roll the shoulders back. Then we'll incorporate just a little shoulder work. Inhale, both arms lift up and lengthen. Exhale, right arm forward. Bend your left elbow into the right elbow crease. You can take the hands to the shoulder blades for first expression of eagle arms or bring the backs of your hands to touch. If this goes over well, then go for a full wrap around. Together, we lift up through the chest and roll the shoulders down the back body. Breathe deep and broad into your low back. Inhale, Urdhvahasasana, arms high. Exhale, left arm forward, bend your right elbow into the left elbow crease. Hands to the shoulder blades, it's a big walk back, or you might bring back some hands to touch or go full wrap around. Just feel into the chest, lift your sternum, and then roll both shoulders back. Close the eyes and take three rounds of breath. As you study your breathing, you study your mind. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, tabletop. If you're on a block or two, remove it. And from your tabletop, extend your right leg long behind you, tuck right toes to your mat, press out through your right heel. Lift up to the back of your left knee and then draw your navel towards your spine. Inhale, spinal balance, lift your right leg and your left arm simultaneously. Option to arch your spine, lift your limbs and lift your gaze like a cow pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, left elbow to right knee, round your spine. Hold this little tuck shape for three. Tuck the chin to the throat and firm your right hand, two. And one, inhale, spinal balance, lengthen left arm and right leg. Exhale, tabletop. And extend your left leg long, press out to the left heel. Feel the lift in the back of your left knee navel towards your spine and your gaze is steady initially at the space between your two palms. If it's appropriate, inhale spinal balance, float your left leg and lift your right arm. If you feel stable, lift your limbs a little higher, arch your spine and lift your eyes. Take a breath into that change. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Dome out to the middle back and shoulder blades. Press through your left hand for three, two, and one. Inhale, spinal balance, lengthen in opposition. Exhale, tabletop. You press back into child pose and hips to heels. Lengthen your arms out in front of you. If you'd like to stretch your triceps, bend your elbows, bring your hands together. Bring your thumbs to the base of the skull or the back of your neck. Inhale, rise to table. And with your exhale, puppy pose. Setup is very crucial here. Keep the hips over knees and lengthen your arms forward. Begin to melt your forehead down to a block. If that's well received, then bring your forehead all the way down to your mat for a greater chest and shoulder sensation. 
Nothing is painful, nothing is jarring. If that tends to arise, rather bend your elbows, forearms parallel to the small edge of your mat, and then bring your forehead to rest on the forearms. Just take a few rounds of breath into the chest and the upper back. Lift to the navel, inhale, rise, tabletop. The last bit of effort before we come to our seat. Broken toe pose. Tuck your toes under, walk your hands back to your knees, and take a seat on your heels. Now this tuck of the toes and seat on the heels, if it's too much, grab your block or two. Put the block on the Achilles or the heels, and then take a seat on the block. That will take off a lot of the pressure. If that's not enough of a solution, simply stand upright on your knees. I am going to turn my back to you just so you can see the integration of cow face arms. Inhale, upward arms, lift up. Exhale, bend your right elbow, pat yourself on the back. With your left hand, pull the right elbow in towards your midline. Choose to stay right here, extend left arm out, dial left thumb down, and then bend into your left elbow, catch your clothing, or finagle and find your fingertips. Breathe deep and breathe wide as I count you down for three, two, and one. Inhale, both arms up, right into second side. Exhale, bend your left elbow, pat on the back. Right hand catches the left elbow to pull into center. That might be enough, but if it's appropriate, right arm out, dial right thumb down, and bend into the left elbow deeply. Catch your clothing or finagle and find opposite hands. Maintain the smooth breathing for three. Sensation but no pain, two. And one, inhale, upward arms, gaze high. Exhale, tabletop, slow to walk the hands forward and lift your hips. Hover your feet just a few inches, begin to point and flex, even rotate through the ankles. And then gently press, or tap I should say, the tops of your feet down into your yoga mat. Press at the ankles, walk your hands back, and extend your legs out long in front of you. Sway the hips to the right and left. Just you really feel into the sitting bones. Feet flex. Inhale, upward arms. Lengthen to prepare. Exhale, seated forward fold. Lengthen the hamstrings, the spine. You can choose passive arms or take a bind. Hands grab your calf muscles, your ankles, or your peace fingers and thumbs wrap around your big toes. You've gone for an active expression. Every time you exhale, use the arm strength to deepen the forward fold. We take three rounds of breath. to lift from the navel. Press your hands into the ground to lift all the way up to the torso. Bend both knees. Plant your hands behind your hips and you set up for seated figure four. Press your right ankle over your left thigh. Choose to stay right here or press into your hands and scoot your hips forward. Might be a couple of inches or might be all the way up against the left heel. Flex through your right foot. Press through the metatarsals or the joints on your toes encourage the outer right knee forward. If you find that you're beginning to round and slump into the back, stay lifted or scoot your butt back and just give your hips more space. Narrow the gaze to something that isn't moving and just follow the quality of your breath. Now, if your hips, take that little scoop forward, toe heel your left foot forward, give yourself the space, and then uncross. Plant your right foot, and we switch to second side. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh, 
You know, the right to left sides, they are nine times out of 10 very different. So you might stay back or press into the hands and take that same journey with your hips. So wherever the spine can remain long and the heart can stay open. Flex your left foot and really press out through the joints on your toes. Neck is long, breath is steady. And if you went for that shorter stance, toe heel your right foot forward, kind of slither it out, and then uncross. Take your hands to your hamstrings. Our last bit of upward effort is Navasana Boat Pose, so a fan favorite. Take the hands to the hammies, walk your toes back, lift and lengthen your spine. You might choose to stay right here or parallel your shins to the ground. If the hamstrings allow it, then you might lengthen your legs. If you've lengthened, then maybe taking peace fingers and thumbs and you grab for your big toes. Begin to bend at your elbows and draw your thighs closer to the belly and ribs without harming your breath. Your body might begin to shake, which is a-okay, but there's no harm done to the breath. I'll count you down, wrap the shoulders, squeeze your blades, hug the inner thighs and inner knees, Last bit for five, four, three. Lengthen whatever you can, the legs, the spine, the breath. Two, take one more inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bend your knees, land your feet, and lie all the way down onto your back. Now once you find your back body, bend your knees more and walk your heels towards your butt. Arms lengthen at your sides, press into your palms. Inhale, bridge pose. Drive the heels, press your hands and your shoulders to lift the hips, the ribs, and the chest. Without squeezing your glutes, let your butt stay soft. Just take one more inhale to really expand through your torso. Exhale, lower down. One hand to the abdomen, opposite hand to the heart. Reclined butterfly, soles of feet together and let your knees open wide. Just let gravity do the work on the opening of both hips simultaneously. You watch your breathing and you feel the beat of your heart. Press your low back into the mat, close off your knees, your hips. Press your right thigh over your left for an eagle leg twist. Option to stay right here or right ankle behind your left calf. Scoot your hips to the right and drop the knees to the left. Open your arms like airplane wings and send your gaze to the right. Pair this shape with your deep, belly and rib cage breathe hold for your inhalation exhale squeeze at the navel lift the legs and unwind eagle bind press into your feet and sweep your hips back to center Second side, cross left thigh over your right. Choose to stay right here. Guide the left foot behind your right ankle, right calf. And to prepare, you sweep your hips to the left, drop the knees to the right, and then possibly sending your gaze to the left over your left airplane wing. Just take a few rounds of breath to rinse out any residual tension may have built in the practice from all of that strength and effort or that you may be holding on to. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, engage at the navel, then lift your legs. Uncross, eagle bind. 
we open up the legs for happy baby pose, we want to neutralize the spine here. Wide knees, flexed feet, heels over the knees. Please keep your tailbone and shoulders grounded as you grab onto the hamstrings, the fronts of the ankles, and the bottoms of the feet. You might hold still or self-soothe and cradle your body to the right and to the left. Right and to the left. And if at this point in your practice, there is anything that feels left untouched, undone, work out final poses. There's nothing more to do. Hug the knees to the chest. Peel up the shoulders, neck and head. Squeeze everything from your feet, calves, thighs, pelvic floor, glutes, navel, chest, shoulders, arms, fingers, face. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release into Shavasana your final resting pose. Traditionally, the limbs, they go long and limp. Slide your shoulders down your back and lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. To support the settling of your energy into the present moment, rest. Take a big breath in, biggest yet. Open mouth, let it go. For these last few moments of your practice, you no longer have to control or manipulate your breath. Let it become easy, soft. Feel your body get still and heavy. Just notice how your mind becomes so quiet. Through all of that beauty, through all of that strength and grace, you experience peace in the present moment. May you enjoy this precious time and rest, this chosen time.
to honor the time that we have together. If your evening or day allows more time and rest, please stay as you are. Extend your Shavasana. If you're ready to move on, invite the most gentle change to your breathing. Plenty familiar as you breathe into the belly and the ribs and the heart. And slowly but surely, take a full body stretch as if you were just awakening for the first time today. And it feel good as you reach out through fingers and feet, your spine and your limbs. And sweetly, hug your knees into the chest. A little hug inward, then roll over to your right side. You feel grounded and rested. Make your way up to a comfortable seat. If comfort entails height, sitting on your prop or props of choice. Root down into the sitting bones to open the heart and lengthen your spine nice and tall. Unite your hands at your heart in Anjali Mudra as you feel into the spaciousness of your physical body. Let the muscles a little longer and stronger. The breath a little steadier and slower. But I also would like you to feel into the spaciousness of your heart and your mind that you so diligently have cultivated. We take advantage of that space as we flood it with the benevolent quality of metta, of loving kindness. So at this time, please bow your chin to your heart. With this perfect blending of head, heart, and hands, we journey through this prayer together. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice is continuous, your heart so steady and of benefit to all beings. In support of yourself and those in this Sangha, this community, take a big breath into your belly. Direct from the heart, open mouth, exhale. With so much love and appreciation to you, we close this practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. My name is Caitlin, and it was truly my pleasure to guide you through this slow flow, beginner accessible practice. I do hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.